Hello everyone, welcome back to the Marshall Library. Today we are talking about Varg Freeborn's Violence of Mind. This is one of the best, if not the best, book on mindset that I've read thus far. Uh, highly recommend this, just right out the gate. If you are serious about uh, protecting yourself, or serious about uh, the study of violence, this is a must-read. Uh, originally, I heard about this book on a thread on Instagram where somebody was giving alternatives to other books that are typically recommended on different topics, and this book was given as an alternative to the book On Killing by Mr. Grossman. I've got no experience with that book, but I can tell you that this book is 100% your time if you're interested in that book. This is a very sobering read. You'll come to... Uh, like, I came to a lot of conclusions about my own thinking, my own mindset, and my own approach to training uh, thanks to this book. I, I came to a lot of uh, kind of conclusions and was able to clarify and define some things about what I was thinking and what I've been doing in my training. So if, if you're serious about, about training and studying uh, violent crime and things like that, again, this, this book is right up your alley. My biggest takeaway from this book is establishing a mindset of having a mission. Uh, you know, every day you, you go out into the world, what is your mission? And you might say, and it's a good mission, you might say, well, my mission is to get home, uh, you know, get home safely. Well, this, this book would kind of push you to say, you know, that's good, but it needs to be better. So maybe your mission needs to be, I'm going to get home like to my family, to my wife and kids, whatever, I'm going to make it home safely every day without fail. Uh, and so ask yourself what your mission is and how you can train and prepare for that mission. Like what is relevant to you. Uh, the book helps you define a mindset that's required to escape and avoid fights. And that's a lot of the training I've done focuses on avoidance and deterrence and de-escalation. And this book fits right into that. So that there's, uh, if your training is not including those things, I would, I would urge you to read this book, see what he has to say, and then seek out some other sources to work on developing that mindset of avoidance and deterrence and de-escalation. Uh, he he asks a very good moral question in this book of how far are you willing to go to defend yourself and over what? And uh, he talks a lot about the, the very stupid mentality of I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6, meaning, you know, I'll, I'll take my chance in court uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll be alive. I'd rather be alive taking my chances in court than be dead. And that's an absolutely insane mindset to have when it's it's so easy to do almost everything right uh, defending yourself and end up in prison. And if you end up in prison, your life is ruined and you're not going to make it home to your family. You're not going to accomplish your mission. And I, I feel like uh, more and more we're starting to see this push in training and, and from instructors and from books like this to ask yourself that moral question, not what's legally right, but what's morally right when it comes to personal defense. So, so kudos to Mr. Freeborn for, for pushing that in his book as well. Uh, he also wants you to focus on the why of training, like why are you doing a drill? Uh, if if your instructor can't explain why you're doing something in a training class and you can't explain why you're doing it in that training class, that's not a good thing. So you need to be able to explain that. You need to be able to evaluate that as well. Even if your instructor can't explain it to you, if you do a drill in a class, think about it critically, think about it objectively, and see if you can figure out a why for that scenario, for that training or sorry, for that drill-in training. Uh, he, uh, I really like this, he focuses on principles over techniques in training. And I, the thing about focusing on principles and te uh, over technique is, you know, there may come a time where techniques 
that we teach now are completely irrelevant to us because you know technology changes technology improves so we need to focus on principles over techniques for that reason but there are other reasons we should focus on that as well uh, obviously developing you know as some people say the software developing the software is more important than the hardware and in a lot of ways technique kind of falls into that hardware aspect of things uh, he talks a lot about having an honest self-awareness and extreme self-control. And again, this goes back to the avoidance and the deterrence thing. Like this guy, he was a very, I mean, I, I think he still is a tough dude, but he was, he was a, a, a guy from a, back, a very violent background. And he, you know, he, he talks about mean mugging dudes and, and looking like a wolf to other wolves. And maybe that's not what you need to look like. You don't need to look like a predator to other predators. Um, and he kind of rags on the old sheepdog thing as being kind of ridiculous. And I thought that was entertaining and uh, a, a fresh look at things because I feel like the sheepdog stuff is very tired uh, at this point. He also talks about having objective standards for yourself and in your training. And that you know that could be anything. He, he doesn't mention this, but that could be saying, oh, I want to... Every day, I'm going to shoot 90 and above on a B8 target at 25. That can be an objective standard for you. You hold yourself to that. Another thing is, you know, when you're shooting something like a scorable target, if you've got a round that's touching the line, maybe you, you don't allow that. Maybe you say if it's not firmly inside the line, it doesn't count. That's a miss. Having those kinds of standards for accuracy, for time, for all of that, that is very crucial for your training and for your development as a fighter. So overall, highly recommend this book. You can get it on Amazon. It's not very expensive. And it's a very easy read. You, It's one of those books that for me, I would read it and I would want to keep reading it. He never kind of, he never lost my attention. He never lost my interest. And again, very interesting book. He has another book that I hope to review in the future instantly i read this book and was like i'm i'm going to read his other book i'm going to look at the into this guy's work he also teaches firearms classes so if you're interested you can find information about him i'll try to put some in the description below and as always thank you for your time watching this i hope you found some value in this and i hope that you'll read this book anyway thank you and i'll see you on the next one